Yo, what is up you guys? It's your favorite brown skin girl Yada and I'm coming back to you with another video. In this video, I want to talk about how I lose and maintain my weight without the gym at all. <laughs> so if you've been on my channel, if you're a person who's on my channel, you subscribed, go ahead and subscribe by the way. <laughs> I do, I have a few videos on how I lose weight. There was a point in time when I was going to the gym. I think I have another one on losing weight without the gym, but this is a more updated version on how I lose weight without the gym and what I've been doing. And the reason why I wanted to come to you guys with this video because I finally reached my goal. I'm 160 pounds and I have not been this way since like high school. So I just want to give you guys what I've been doing super easy not difficult at all as a matter of fact I'm not even gonna make this video long all I've been doing is just eating smaller portions like I said before and then also what I've noticed is that I've actually been eating more fruits and veggies right so I've been eating more fruits and veggies which has really helped me uh, with losing my weight I notice I can when you eat like meat or when you eat fast food you can't really eat as much as it of it as you want to because it's so high in calories versus when you eat fruits and veggies you can eat a lot because they're very low in calories so that's one thing that I noticed and one thing that's been helping me lose weight because I've been eating a lot of fruits and vegetables and that really got me down from about 168 to 160. As you know, if you're a person who works out, as you lose more weight, it'll get harder. So for somebody who's like 300 pounds, their first 50, 70, 100 pounds, honestly, is going to be really easy to lose. But once they start getting down from 300 to 200 to 170 it's going to slow down on how they lose their weight and some people might even hit a standstill so this is for people who might be i was at a standstill i got to about 170 and so i would teeter between like 167 and 172 uh so pretty much like i said i've been eating way more fruits and veggies i've really even like even if you eat fruits and veggies and you don't eat it in a healthy way, it's still better. It's still a better alternative than going to get fast food or going to get chips or something like that. So, for instance, let me tell you something that might not sound good, but it's better than what the other alternative would be. I like to eat, my friend put me on this, I will eat cucumbers, but I like to put salt and pepper on my cucumbers and then I eat it with ranch. Now... That might not sound like the best alternative, but honestly, compared to eating a bag of chips, going to get a sundae, you know, something like that, uh, it's a better alternative for a snack. You understand what I'm saying? Or even like, for instance, a lot of people think fruits are good for you. Fruits are, I won't say they're necessarily good because it's still like a sugar, but it's just a better alternative. So for instance, instead of me going to get something sweet, like, Easter just passed. You guys don't know I love peeps. I know, don't kill me. I know a lot of people don't like peeps, but I love peeps. So instead of me eating peeps, a healthy alternative would be for me to eat strawberries, which is sweet, or uh, an orange, an apple. Those aren't really more on the sweet side, but you understand what I'm saying. So I've really been incorporating that, and also bananas too. I've been getting into eating bananas, but I've been incorporating that as an alternative instead of eating something sweet or when I want to snack on something, something that's a healthy alternative. Another thing, I just eat when I want to eat. You know, like some people feel forced. I know they say, and I've, I've majored in exercise science, so I definitely do understand when people say to eat consistently is to build your metabolism. But the older I get, the more I really feel like I don't think that is necessary. Now, I haven't done any research on this. Like I said, this is just my personal opinion. But I really do feel like you just only need to eat when you need to eat. And that helps me to maintain my weight and also helps me to lose weight as well. So for instance, me, there's sometimes, if I'll be honest with you, where I only eat once a day. And it's not even like, it depends on the person you are, right? So for me, eating more, the, the l more weight I lose, the less I really want to eat. And I think it's because my stomach is shrinking. So I don't really have a lot of space for a bunch of food. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? So don't feel like you have to overeat. Just eat as much as you can and then stop. Because if you keep overeating what you have, like if you keep over eating over what you, what you have, then you're going to end up 
spreading your stomach and making more room and then you're going to be hungry when you only eat those small portions that you're used to because now your stomach has been stretched i don't know if that makes sense to you guys or not hopefully it does so that's why even if i only eat one meal a day i'm not too stressed like oh i need to get another meal in i just eat I just eat till I'm content. So I, sometimes I eat one meal a day. Sometimes I eat two or three meals a day. It's it's sporadic. It's not like I have a certain guideline that I follow in order to eat. I really just eat as I see fit. And I try not to overeat. A lot of people overeat. I won't force myself. I'll eat as much as I can. If I can't eat all of it, I'll save it for the next day. So that's really been a big thing. And also too, I've been drinking way more water. I don't know if i drink juice it's either like orange juice or it's like cranberry juice sometimes apple juice and then if i drink soda maybe like canada dry but i don't drink soda like that sometimes i just want that fizz so i can burp you know you know so <laughs> if i if i want soda i'll usually drink that like i'm not opposed to drinking soda it's just i don't drink it as often as i used to it might be like maybe once or twice a month maybe three or four times a month if that but mostly drink a lot of water something i try to practice this helps with from what i've been told this helps with your breath stinking as well i try to drink a bottle of water before i go to sleep and then in the first couple of hours i wake up i try to drink as much water as i can i usually try not to eat until about like 10 11 o'clock ish and then after that is when i start eating if I want to eat, because usually I don't eat breakfast. So yeah, the, just those first hours when I wake up, I just try to drink as much water as I can just to kind of get those fluids back in my system. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much, like I said, I didn't want to make this super long. It's not rocket science of what I've been doing. That's really all I've been doing to lose that last bit of weight I had. I just, smaller portions, eating when I want to eat, incorporating way more fruits and veggies, especially getting into veggies because I'm not a big veggie person. But just those little changes has really made a big difference and has gotten me down to my weight. Now, my goal was 160 pounds, but I kind of want to see how small I can get. I don't want to get small. Like, I like my body. I don't want to get smaller, but I'm always like, you know, let me get as small as I can. So when I have kids, you know, kind of weighs out. So <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to keep you guys updated on my journey as always. I'm only going to come to you guys if I have like new stuff or any like things that I found that are really helpful. I'm not just gonna update you guys every time or if I lose a good amount of weight and I, I lost, I finally got to my goal. So I figure I come to you guys back on reaching my goal. So yeah, um, that is it you guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Please share this video as well as my other videos that I have as far as losing weight. I have a lot of good information um about losing weight because it's something that i've struggled with as a person who loves to eat and i've always been more on the thicker side i've never really been small so definitely uh share those tips for everybody and i will see you guys in my next video bye babes